Welcome back to the channel. This is a big one. This is a big one. Let me tell you. We are back in Branston. However, we are playing the championship 18 holes. Um, as you know, I played most of my golf on the par three where I actually signed up for a membership. Um, but today we're taking on the big boy. We're going to find out what my real handicap is today. No hiding. So hole number one, par four, 323 yards off the yellows, four hybrid in hand. Chunky to start things off, but we're on the fairway. <laughs> so after traveling a grand total of about 160 yards <laughs> of the first tee, we find ourselves about 200 yards short of the green. So I've got four hybrid in hand once again. Okay, about 200 to the flag. That is lovely. Touch it, touch. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Very pleased with that. So we landed not too far off the green actually. So I've got the pitching wedge in hand. Gonna give this a little run. A little run, hopefully knock it in for par. Couple inches short. If it didn't hit the fringe so hard, I think we'd have rolled. Can't be too mad at that one. Good for speed. In for bogey. Not a bad start at all. Come on. All right, so hole number two. Playing about 305 yards. Big dog leg to the left. Um, so here we're just aiming to the right of that, the right of that pylon. Seven iron in hand. Slightly thin, but that is. Lovely divot and quite a nice flight as well. So, pleased with that. Go on. So unlucky with the positioning. <laughs> the pin is about 141 yards, but we have the pylon and the tree between us and the pin. So, I'm actually just going to aim right. 9 9 in hand. Oh, the wind. <laughs> the wind took that. That was a lovely strike. Lovely strike. The striking is getting so much better. I don't know if you've noticed, but it feels better anyway. All right, so 58 degree in hand. We're about 35 yards out. Oh dear. So I actually thought we found some bunker trouble early doors. <laughs> we actually managed to roll through. So once again, 58 degree, get underneath it. What a shot. A little 10 footer to pop it in for par. Come on, playing very, very well so far. Let's see if we can keep it up. Pretty much straight at the hole on this one. Oh, it's really close. Never mind. Pop it in for a double. On to the third. Bogey golf. On to the third, three up. Listen, I'm not expecting to score anywhere near the 18 over that I scored on the last. That was a par three course, so I have to be honest with myself. And I'm setting myself the target of, I think, breaking 105. Um, I think that's sensible, achievable, and hopefully challenging. So on to the third. Hole number three, par three. Um, lots of danger, as you can see, water plays pretty much all the way to the green on this one. So have to catch it clean, no excuses. Um, nine, nine in hand, 140 yards. Nice smooth swing. I just think we're in the bunker. Yeah, first bit of bunker fun today. I know for a fact I'm not alone when I say this. Any hole with water, anything you have to clear, the moment you know you've made some sort of half decent connection, there's no better feeling, let's be honest. I've lost so many balls into water, so the fact that I cleared it in one means I'm a happy, happy boy. 
<laughs> I, this isn't the first time my depth perception has been way off. I'm about four meters short of the bunker and I was convinced I was in it. Um, I think I've got problems, guys. Anyway, no complaints here. 58 degree in hand, 45 yards to the flag. 58 degree. Rotate the body and let the club do the work. Yeah, that's lovely. Do you know what? Ask me to take that shot 10 times in a row and I don't think I'd stick it as close once. Right, absolutely over the moon with that. I'm just gonna go straight at the hole here. The first part of the day, ladies and gentlemen, buzzing. <laughs> I'm so, so happy, I bloody love golf. Right, so hole number four. The hole plays a slight dog leg to the right, but we've got water playing about 200 and 210 yards, so knock down three wood for the layup. Little stinger. Yeah, that'll play. A1 position, to be honest. Lovely tee shot. I'm slowly, slowly getting to the stage where I genuinely feel like what I'm learning in my lessons is starting to sort of pay off, which is really weird to say. Um, but I'm getting a little bit more consistent, which is still awful. This is all relatively speaking. Um, but my misses aren't as tragic as they used to be, which is a big win. A1 position on this tee shot. If I struck it any clearer, I think I'd have been struggling. So good start for the hole. Need to get this on the green. It's a tricky hole because if you go long, the ball is dead. So 150 yards to the flag. Eight iron in hand, what could go wrong? <laughs> Caught that so thin, unbelievably thin. Anyway, we'll take the positives, it's still in play. Like I said, my misses aren't as tragic. We're still in play, it went straight, and we've got a nice, nice wedge into the green for our third shot, so Still on for par, still on for par, who knows? Might even knock this in the hole. Yeah, that's lovely. Guys, hate to say it, another money wedge shot. Buzzing with that, about 15 feet from the flag, playing right to left. Oh, that's a beautiful roll. Broke quite hard though. Oh, that is a shame. I played that hole so well. <laughs> Never mind, in for a double. Can't be too disappointed with the double there. Um, that hole, it's quite a tough one, no lost balls. Um, we stuck it on the green in three. Yeah, we three put, but it was a long put to start with. So on to the next, I'm feeling good. I am feeling good. I think 105 could be within our grasp. If we just keep this up, 105 could be broken. Come on. All right, guys, on to the next. Hole number five, playing over 500 yards, par five, so three wood. That's three wood send. I know what you're thinking. Just drive a hole, but we're playing sensible. We're trying to score low today, so. I think that might be the best three wood I have ever hit. Wow. <laughs> wow. Right, gorgeous tee shot. Um, we're still bending around to the right, so I'm going to hit this as straight as I can, really. Stay out of trouble. And we should have a nice, nice view onto the green. Four hybrid in hand. Oh, no, no, no. Topped it, and I think we might have gone so far into the trees that. We won't actually have a wedge shot in. Fingers crossed though. All right, so we've still got 170 yards to the flag. Got a seven iron in hand. We've actually still got a shot onto the green, so I'll give this a good, good slap, hopefully. Yeah, that's lovely. I think we might be dancing. <laughs> what a strike. 
and what a strike. All right, so depth, depth perception once again, way off, but we're not too far from the green. Shot number three, pitch and wedge in hand. Play it slightly to the right and let it, let it run down. Do you know what? That actually was the play. We're putting it for par again. What a start. It's exactly what I needed. Um, I was quite dreading a video like today, to be honest, because the score can get out of hand on long holes like this. So, autumn golf. Autumn golf for you. Slight right to left. Didn't really break on me. Another bogey. Bogey golf. Bogey on the last, on to the next. Hole number six, par four, par four, 327 yards. I've gone for the three wood again. Nice straight one. Topped it. Topped it, but it actually played really well that. Stopped just before the bunker. Yeah, should give us about 80 yards to the flag. Again, the three wood is serving us very well off the tee. So, P wedge in hand, 130 yards, but we've got significant wind behind. So, nice full pitching wedge. Big push, probably pin high, but yeah, pushed it. So, about 30 yards in, bread and butter, bread and butter, 58 degree to be honest. He's only gone and stuck it within 10 feet again. <laughs> I tell you what, the return on investment on the new wedges, instant. Oh, that's awful pot, awful pot. In for bogey. Wow. <laughs> Lesson learned, don't rush it. No matter how close that last putt is, do not rush it. Wow, that was all blame on myself. Number seven, par three, playing about 160 yards. I've got seven iron in hand. Should be a nice smooth one. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's awful. <laughs> Sliced it so bad. So about 85 yards. I've gone for a 54 degree. So I'm not going to swing at it full. About three quarters. Oh my sweet lord! The club face so open. I'm actually in the trees. Oh dear. So this is the trouble with these sneaky par threes. There's so little room for error that now I'm on my third shot for par and I'm nowhere near the green. So this is where damage limitation sort of comes into play. So we're in lob wedge range once again. This has to go close, has to go close. 40 yards. <laughs> we try again. <laughs> the ball was so sat up that actually just went fully underneath it. And I pulled that. Oh well, we're on the green at last. Well, we're putting for double bogey. <laughs> down the hill, let it trickle down. Putting for triple. Oh dear. And our first quad bogey of the day. <laughs> Guys, it was inevitable. Oh, that stings. Quad bogey on a par three. <laughs> we move. It's about how you put those wheels back on after they've fallen off. Anyway, we're back in par five territory, hole number eight, long par five, 587 yards. So this is going to take everything I've got. Three wood in hand, it's not the widest fairway in the world, so I'm going to send one nice and straight. Yeah, a little stingy one. It'll be very good for distance. Listen, anything out of the trees on this hole for me is a win. Yeah, again, 
lovely ball. So good that I'm actually going to go through it off the deck again because we're a, we're a long ways from the hole yet. So another straight one. It's a bit slicey. Didn't actually see it land, so we'll have to look for that one. But it looked okay, and there's not much danger down there. So yes, yeah, so we did find the ball. We did find the ball, but we're still 250 yards from the green. So. I've gone for a full hybrid this time. We don't need as much distance on this. So something straight, we don't want it, we don't want it hooking. We need this one on the fairway. Yeah, it's a bit hooky, but yeah, no, that's fine. That should sit up nicely. Good look at the green. All right, so we actually stopped in this, which I would deem to be the cart path. And if my judgment is correct, I'm actually allowed to not play it from the cart path because I don't really fancy ruining my club. So there we are. Just up to 122 yards, pitching wedge. Bit chunky and pulled it. Yeah, I've stayed short of the bunker, about 30 yards, 30 yards to the green. A long par five is always going to be a big ask uh, for me. I'm not the longest hitter, I think not the straightest hitter, but we've managed to stay sort of around the fairway so far, so I'm not too happy about that. The biggest place where I lose strokes is I have to play out from the, from the trees, but we've stayed out of the trees. No adventures as of yet today. Long, may that continue. Right, we've got a good look at the green here. Let's stick it on. About 20 yards, 20 yards. We've gone for the 54 degree. Right, I'm not even sure what that was. That probably looks horrendous watching back. Um, so we're just off the green, slightly on the rough. So a turn in hand, give this a little bump. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Again, not too much to say about that one. And I think we're putting for double bogey. Get in the hole. Oh, a little bit of, a little bit of light in the darkness. Oh dear. On to the ninth. Um, a very up and down front nine, but lots of positives to take from that. Alongside, of course, lots of negatives, but we move. On to the ninth, feeling good. Right, hole number nine. 13 over, who would have thought? Par four, then about 309 yards, four hybrid in hand. The objective here is get to the green in three. Oh, it's a lovely strike. A little bit slicey. That should play nicely. Should play. Right, so yeah, we're just on the in the rough on the right. We've got about 115 to the flag. We're going for the 54 degree because you don't want to go long. Long is dead, so smooth, smooth 54 degree. Oh, so fat. Three inches before the ball that time. <laughs> oh, gutted. 60 yards in, 58 in hand. Let's stick it on there. Still not on the green. Caught it so heavy again. What is going on? I'm not even joking. I must have done about 10 practice swings before I hit that. Clean, bouncing off the grass every single time. As soon as there's a ball in front of me, I smack it into the ground as hard as I can. <laughs> Riddle me that. It's quite a nice little downhill lie here. I've got 54 degree. I'm gonna open up the face on this one. Slide down the hill. And hopefully not fly the green. Didn't really give it enough, but the connection was actually quite nice. So I've got the putter out. It's probably not the play, to be honest. Um, but we're just off the edge, just in the thick stuff. And uh, it's quite a tough putt, actually. We've got a lot of undulation to play with here. Big uphill to start with as well. Wow, absolutely flown it. Out of camera, about a 10 footer back the other way. Uh, 
Oh dear. Uh, two quads in three holes. Two quads in three holes. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> we close out the front nine, 17 over par, which to be honest, isn't the worst score, probably somewhere near what I would expect. Thanks for watching. So this is part one. Uh, so I'm going to wrap up part one here. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for part two. Let's see how low we can score. Um, get a handicap out of this one. So cool. we need to pick it up on the back nine. No more quad bogeys allowed. Thanks for watching. And see you next time. Over and out. <laughs>